Hi, I'm Vikraman, and I'm going to be talking about our popul paper, Symmetries in Reversible Programming, from Symmetric Regroupoids to Reversible Programming Languages. This is joint work with my co-authors, Yatrik and Anur. I'll start with a motivating example. Consider two programs which permute the elements of a three-element set, A, B, C. We present these permutations as tree transformations. The first program, P1, rotates the tree to the left, then swaps the left and right children, and then finally swaps the rightmost leaves. The second program, P2, swaps the rightmost children, then rotates the tree to the left, swaps the leftmost children, rotates the tree to the right, and then finally swaps the rightmost children. These two programs, P1 and P2, are extensionally equal because they map the same inputs to the same outputs. In this work, we would like to find a sounded complete set of equations to decide equivalences of these programs. These primitive combinators for transforming trees are our building blocks for a reversible programming language called Pi. This language has finite types given by 0, 1, plus, and times, and a special kind of program types for type isomorphisms. These are given by one combinators for units, swaps, associativity, and so on, and they can be composed in many different ways using higher-order combinators. Using this reversible programming language, we can define reversible Boolean circuits. For example, we can define the NOT gate on Booleans, we can define a controlled NOT gate, and we can define a controlled controlled NOT gate, which is the 3-bit Toffoli gate. Just like the simply typed lambda calculus has an equational theory given by the beta eta equations, we would like to find an equational theory for this language of reversible programs. We will define two combinators, given two one combinators between types A and B. Carrot and Sabri conjectured that these equations are given by the coherence conditions of symmetric rig groupoids. For example, we have associativity of composition, units, naturality of swap, and so on. And we also have coherences from monodal categories like the pentagon and hexagon, as we know from McLean and Kelly and Laplaza. These two combinators can also be composed in different ways. Now we'd like to show that this equational theory is sound and complete for this language. Going back to our original example, the programs P1 and P2 can be equated using two combinators. We can write them as a sequence of two combinators, or we can also visualize them as a commuting diagram as shown below. So how can we generate a two combinator knowing that two permutations are equal? To do so, we have to think about the computational content of these permutations. Notice that the only non-trivial computation happens in the swaps. We can represent these permutations as braid diagrams. In a braid diagram, we represent the permutation as a list of transpositions. For example, the permutation P1 corresponds to the diagram on the left, and the permutation P2 corresponds to the diagram on the right. Using the theory of group presentations of symmetric groups, we can rewrite these braid diagrams into a normal form. So both P1 and P2 will reduce to the normal form in the bottom diagram. Using this technique, we can construct a denotational semantics for this language pi in the groupoid of finite sets and bijections. We do this in three steps. First, we translate pi to pi plus, which is the additive fragment of the language, where we translate all the products into sums. Then we move from pi plus to pi hat, which only allows natural numbers for types and adjacent transpositions for combinators. And finally, we translate pi hat to ufin, which is the groupoid of finite sets and permutations. Each step of this semantics is an equivalence of symmetric groupoids. And by composing these maps, we get a sound and complete denotational semantics for the language pi. Finally, to summarize our contributions, using this semantics, we give a lambda correspondence for this reversible programming language and symmetric rig group, just like the simply typed lambda calculus corresponds to Cartesian closed categories. We show that this semantics is fully abstract and adequate with respect to the operational semantics of the language. Using soundness and completeness, we can do normalization by evaluation for reversible circuits, and we get a procedure for deciding equivalence of two reversible circuits by comparing their normal forms. We can also synthesize reversible circuits from the truth tables expressed as permutations. We also have different presentations of permutations, and we can transfer theorems from one presentation to the other. Finally, this is all formalized in a proof assistant using the hot actor library. If this sounds interesting, you can read our preprint of the archive and you can come to my purple talk. Thank you.